And this is something that whether Heidi Lau uses robots or not, this is something that will happen. So if they're an early adopter of it, they are a bit ahead of the, of the curve here and develop these capabilities and skills. And if they have more robot component, it doesn't have to be that you're all into robots. You still can mix the two. You can buzz the tables through robots, but you still can do other things with a personal interface here. Some customers prefer talking to people. Some customers prefer robots. And you can see this already with the very simple stuff if there are iPads on the table. Many people, they prefer scrolling through the menu on the iPad and ordering there than rather talking to a person. But you can soft launch it first by having both service delivery modes, if you will. And, um, but let me say long term going forward, you're absolutely right. At the moment, you can differentiate on service. You have better staff, better training, better selection, and so on, and your staff is better and customers are happier. That will reduce, at least for the mass market, will the importance of this will, will reduce. And I fully expect that going forward, these robots will not be developed by change like Heidi Lau and, and McDonald's, but they will be developed by computer manufacturers who really focus only on F&B uh, solutions. And they will be F&B solution providers. So they will, can tell you exactly for cooking robots, for dishwashing, busing robots, ordering, and you name it here. I mean, for example, the ordering process is an information type process. I can have a little genie dancing on your table. You can still have an interface with a little holograph. They're talking to you. And the interface may not be anymore on an iPad, you, you, you pidgey budgy on what you want to order, but it could be you ask the genie, hey, you know, I like some sushi here, or I like some whatever. And, and genie, tell me what's really good here and, and what would you recommend? So there will be various mechanisms to do these different types of service. My guess is that most of these solutions will be developed by global robot providers who will be most likely industry specific. So there will be a provider who does, let's say, hair salon solutions. There will be somebody for F&B. There may be someone for bars and cocktail mixing and so on. It's unlikely that individual companies do that. Although very large companies like Heidi Lau or like McDonald's they could be ahead of the curve but because they have enough outlets and enough scale that can be the first ones to develop those things. But even then, my prediction is even if they're very successful with it, at some point they will outsource the whole thing and then scale it and also serve external other companies basically. But it's a really good question and I think you're right. It will reduce the importance of people as a competitive advantage then other things like your brand, your overall value proposition, your menu, your innovation capabilities, and all of those things will, in relative terms, become more important.